Welcome to Dora Saves the World Sometimes, bringing the news to the people and solutions to work. I am Dora John, and I know you're thinking, who qualified me to save the world? But Superman did die twice, so, I mean, you need me. Let's just say that. In today's news, Chicago's chief of police blames courts for letting out defendants that shouldn't be out early on electronic monitoring for recent spikes in violence in the city. Now, Mayor Lori Lightfoot blames the shutdown of the courts due to the COVID-19 pandemic to the spikes in violence. Judges are upset for being blamed for the spike in violence as they don't solely make the decisions on releases on their own. They take recommendations from the prosecuting attorney's office and then they make those decisions together for the most part. So, why are we pointing fingers? According to NBCChicago.com, a Loyola University study released in November 2020 claimed an increase in the number of people released free trial was not associated with any significant change in new criminal activities, violence, or otherwise, and was not associated with any change in the amount of crime in Chicago since 2017. Well, Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox said finger pointing <laughs> instead of talking honestly about the violence plaguing our city doesn't help bring solutions that make our community safe. And she's absolutely correct. If we could just get the chief police and the mayor of the city of Chicago to get on those accords. So we did some research. And in the city of Chicago, violence, to be honest, has always been an issue. But in the last 10 years or so, the increase has regained in numbers. Now, it's crazy to even call numbers because they're people. These are the lives of children, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, countless individuals from one month to 99. So many lives taken every day, basically. And for the city of officials to be blaming each other is ridiculous, obviously. The problem is process. The judges do take advisement from prosecuting attorneys, so those are not decisions that are made by themselves. Uh, and the mayor and the chief of police have supposedly studied the statistics of what putting more police on the streets does. And as we can see, for years and years we've been doing that, and it's not pretty much doing anything at all, unfortunately. Now, I don't know personally if the mayor or the chief of police have actually studied these things, but I would just assume that this is a major city and before entering to a position as such that they hold, I will do those research. But that's just myself. And Chicago is one of the largest cities in the United States. I would really, really hope they did their study. Knowing that more police don't add to fixing the violence, you would think maybe our city would do some really, really good research on other things that do help because there are cities that are that are doing great numbers and bringing the violence to a halt by simply enacting a counselor. We want to connect people with a support system. In many cases, people need help both on the financial side as well as getting clinical help. And so we hope that we have a, a team of outside providers who can do a lot of the more long-term solutions. Yes, this is what should be next. Maybe police really need to partner with different professionals from all types of psychological fields. We are dispatched through the public safety dispatchers. So we're kind of a fourth arm of public safety there. I have a small kit that has like epinephrine if we come upon somebody with a, you know, an anaphylactic reaction or something like that because kind of time is money with those calls. I have Narcan for overdoses. Thanks. At risk elders, um, youth, uh, mental health has been in that, housing issues. Um, homelessness has been something that's come across 911 now. If you look at even a situation where you have a trespasser, for example, person's mentally ill, they don't want to leave, um, the store owner needs to, you know, have them move on, but they're not moving on. If we respond and we're able to create a plan that, may, you know, maybe they need to go for some food at the, you know, at the, the dining room, maybe they need some shelter. Unfortunately, that's what officers bring with them.
you know, is that authority, is that use of force, is that use of force, is that use of force, it, it often will escalate a situation just because of what policing represents. I think that once little by little dispatch realizes that the community and officers are still going to be safe, their crisis workers are still going to be safe, um, it's, I think it's going to be a hard transition, but I think it, it'll be worth it. Well, there you have the numbers and you have proof in the pudding. Real solutions that are actually working. So, Ms. Lightfoot and Mr. Brown from the city, do you hear us? I hope so. We need some counselors ring those in and that's gonna be all today Honduras saves the world sometimes because I do have other things to do but I definitely will never ever ever stop saving the world don't forget to check me out on YouTube Instagram Facebook check out my podcast the TC and Dora show on Anchor and all the other platforms. Talk about the real, but it's more comedy. On a serious note, I wish you all great and amazing energy. And you all be well. Remember, I just save the world sometimes.